Shot the celebration there. They get to the box for another goal. Shot the celebration there. They get to the box for another goal. Shot the celebration there. They get to the box for another goal. Back on or no football made in Ghana here on City TV. Charlie, the Ghana Premier League is back, so uh, we are we excited. Last week we tell you say the Ghana Premier League they come back and it's back, back with the bang. Charlie, <laughs> it's like some people never left. It's like Coach Bash never left. He was furious this weekend about officiating in the game against Brecum Chelsea. We're going to take you through all the talking points, the major talking points from match week 18 of the Ghana Premier League. Great Olympics are top of the league now. Some title charge, they happen there. Uh, uh, how some folks say, no, then the title they no want. Right? And they just one win game after game. What's really going on there? Samuel Bodu. Uh, in his first game in charge in the second round, getting a 2 0 win. We go talk about that particular match. We go talk about Mariano Barreto. The man they swear say that Kotoko players, the attitude for change. He make what? He said that performance against 11 Wonders was disgusting. That'd be the term he used. So the man, he really make what? What he go he bring to this Kotoko team? We go look at that as well. Uh, and then we go give you some very nice, uh, this video yesterday. We take put for Twitter in the trend. If you miss him, um, yeah, we will go show you again. Victor Edu in penalty kicks, eh? Because every day, be like the guy, you know, he they fight with the goalkeeper. Somebody say he be like the goalkeeper collecting gear. <laughs> because when he go back, he they can't play the penalty. That you say he go run away. But somebody say make me they come down till the day the ball go land in the Independence Square. Down to the <laughs> because one day he go have him. <laughs> so we go talk about that. Then the second part of the show, of course, we will talk about Ghanaian players in the Europe's top five leagues. We do some artwork as well. If you look at the Ghanaian players in the top five leagues in Europe, 19 players, only a handful of them, they even get playing time. We will take you through the years from AFCON 2006, World Cup 2006, all the way till now. The number of players in all the squads for those competitions where they play the top five leagues in, in, in Europe. At the time they go to the tournament, they will go compare how that affects performance in those competitions. Whether those competitions where we get more players from the top five leagues, they mean say we do more, or what it really they tell us about the way when a football is, and how we go fit get more players into the Europe's top five leagues. So what really happened between the last, in the last 10 years where it makes standards really for, according to some people. So all of that coming up here. So the show, as usual, it be live and interactive. Be your own. So make you send me a message. The number there, your screen top, plus 223 You can feel leave me a message on WhatsApp as well. Uh, the question be, Victor, Edu in penalty taking technique, you know? What should they make of them? I mean, I'll go based the question say, is it one of the best in the world? People say, make a come out for them. But when we show you the guy in penalty kicks, you know, you go see, say, no, this star. Because if Frank Lampard and Balak and La Gerard and my star say, no, be so easy. You bab. So it be so, it be, it be, it be, it be so. Charlie, it be so, it be so. All right, so we go take some short break. When we come back, I'll go introduce my guests and then we go start rolling.
Good day energy drink keeps you going. Available in major supermarkets and shops near you. Excessive drinking can be detrimental to your health. Not recommended for persons under 18 years, lactating mothers, pregnant women and people sensitive to caffeine. This advert is FDA approved. We did hear football bed in Ghana. My name is Fentio Tahiru Fentio. So, <coughs> Victor Edu, in, in video we did talk about, you know. <laughs> Plenty of comments there, we'll go read, give you. And then we we'll go show you the number of players in the play in the Ghana's top leagues. Then we'll go base you the question. Right now, what it is, what, what like, what he, he did show about the way and the state of one of football. Because if one of football really, they be more players for the Europe's top five leagues are now. Say the Europe stop five list no crown. Somebody say, hey, crown, it be overrated. So, why wanna players for day there? If they're there somewhere like Belgium and Netherlands, have them all day. All right. <laughs> Me, I don't want to talk plenty. Make I introduce the guys where they go fit talk plenty. They get all the sense in the world. They go fit talk about this matter. First, and yes, this guy, I bring him back because has a folk win. So, one for not bring him back. Go bring him back. I shoot him a clue. Charlie, come. Everything cool. My guy. Yeah. As boy do they, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> nothing go fit for. You be boy do. Uh, ah, the color. Charlie. Charlie. You, you be boy do. Um, you be my guy. Yeah. You and be they boy believe I'm pass. Yeah. And they uh, believe I'm anyway. pass. Yeah. So everything cool. Everything cool, Charlie. Where they come from? Why you shout out like that? Oh. Where, 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 where jeans? Then Me you then. Where black? Then you wear. Me then. Ben, we go do some small, small way. So. We go do some. Yeah. Hey, so boys know be boys again. <laughs> you don't call anybody. If you now we finish. don't call anybody. If you now we finish, Charlie. <laughs> All right, let me bring my second guest. This guy, well, these days he developed some affinity for the show. So every day he day here. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the richest, the handsomest. It's true, it's true. It's true. Where did you think? The fans, it's true. Because <laughs> you know, you know, say, why are they take the team fast? <laughs> no, it's you see, no, I go I drop some more. No, I don't really like brag. <laughs> The thing be yeah. obvious, but making no talk. Yeah. Have, everybody knows. So you you too. Why you shudder like that? Why well, not shudder? I think if you dare, if you actually shudder, if you actually shudder, ah, yeah, if you actually shudder, oh. uh, yeah, oh, look at this, we actually shudder. Damn, yeah. <laughs> damn, man. Damn, Charlie, man. Damn, man. <laughs> Charlie, guys, welcome to the show. Welcome Charlie, to the Charlie. show. The Ghana Premier League is back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's back with a bang, like literally a bang from yeah. Victor Edu. Killer, killer guy. <laughs> Hey, I see the penalty. If you kick the penalty, if you go keep us and go dodge the ball, yeah. all of them they dodge you. No, then true. They lie. They know they go. They <laughs> like, then they dodge like, me, I feel say uh, as if you kick the ball, the keepers then they feel they hit the ball. They take the camp. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> then they won't avoid the direction avoid of the ball. <laughs> so you go dive. <laughs> but you go dive under the ball. No, even if you see that direction of the ball. Pass one side. Pass one side. <laughs> <laughs> they think we do hot. Anyway, <laughs> so that's to come later. But guys, man, could just this time I will go begin with the Ghana Premier League. And if you miss any of the action, well, like I tell you, the action was explosive. The goes no plenty, but the talking points really plenty for the league inside. So we will go begin with the uh, match that we just talked about. Hearts of Oak, then host Adriana starts in what was one of the biggest games of the run, apart from the Friday night game, Olympics and Media as well. Uh, House of Folk and the Diana. Remember the first round of this match? House of Folk travel all the way to Doma, then go, then go, wait, then go lose. Uh, they say they go, they, they don't lose, fine. Hey, please, stop the cough me. Eh? House of Folk, they go, they don't go, they don't reach, they don't reach. Where they say some something, something. So some COVID, some people test positive plenty. They call off the mat, then drive all the way back. They don't play the game, then play them later. But this time around, they host them for a crowd. As of folk in the end, Samobodi in first game in charge in the second round, he get all three points. If you miss the game, take a look. Two goals scored. So he could find some joy. Here is Victor Edu. Brilliant stop from goalkeeper Ado. All at the expense of watching. Now he finds Patrick Razak. 
goes down after the tackle from Nuruddin is a penalty. Yellow card. Was the defender making the contact from here? I don't think he was. But right there, he just stood. He already has caused six goals. Can he make it seven in the Premier League? Edu! He's blasted it in, and the Fabians are one all up on Resurrection Sunday. No, no messing around. questions about that. Yeah, no messing around by Victor. Sends the goalkeeper the wrong way. Very emphatic, very powerful, very confident strike. Victor Edu once again from the spot. Larry, lovely touch from Salifu. Razak gets across, it's an own goal. 2 0. Behind him. But I'm wondering if he could have cleared that with his left leg instead of trying to go with the right. Uh, well, I know you see the uh, defender. <laughs> he go like watch that back because <laughs> spectacular own goal. That way, how you go call out. But guys, this is how about in second game. Yeah. Because in the first round, he took charge of one match. This will be the second game, of course. He win by two goals to nil. Uh, actually, you were there. Yeah. What be the talking point, the major talking point? Because I see your tweet. You say that match, you know, the Ajana performance go beat 99% of Ghana Premier League teams. But this be hard for folk. Yeah. Where they squeeze out the results. Yeah. Um, I feel, say, like, like Bedia could talk. It was a game of two halves. And I think, say, both managers were very smart. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. the the some of the things we not we will feel say Bedia could for do way in the post match himself he admits say some okay. of the changes like if we come earlier so like some Adams like this you know really play nothing mm -hmm. throughout the game so like if we take him off earlier we will be like now nah, some Obio too me now nah, he say he was the best player on the pitch okay. as he come from bench like if he had started oh, the game he did come from bench Charlie why are you going start uh -huh. so but he say he Bio be in super sub so. Mm -hmm. No matter how well he plays off the bench, this be how he feels. Say go for use them, but I feel say Hearts did well. Um, them play football that was very good for the first half. But it be the reaction of the manager where he tell me say he know in team because he talks say after the first half he realize say that high pressing, then expansive brand of possession football. They no go for play for ninety minutes. Mm -hmm. So then them for withdraw, then try protect the leader. Then get. But even then you could tell say if they get the ball. They had a plan to create chances, mm. and it worked. I mean, they get to some very good positions where you feel, say, if the players now, nah, excuse the language, they use them as sense more, or if the decision making be better, mm -hmm. they go feel create something. Yeah. I mean, in those situations, and so they play well, and then in the, I think in the final few minutes, they sort of tried to take the game to Adiana Stars again, created a couple of chances, but then again, you the Edu you go figure hat trick, like now you go figure hat trick. So the first half he get some chance. In the box, he fired blank, and then that chance save. that yes, that save that um, this was a good save. save exactly. So he Ooh, the half he, sh he showed us very different side of in game. So if Hearts lose the ball, it the work hard plus the full backs, and the moment they gain the ball, he quickly they run forward because on the day has man has like play like ten against eleven because mm. Kojo Obin Junior shh, he played nah. In, in no shit, that's then it. Then I can't say in name be Leroy Sand. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> but in no shit, that's it. So for me, the <laughs> he grow past Leroy Sand. <laughs> but he move in name be Leroy Sand. <laughs> so for me, the, the main issues be the way the two coaches approach the game. We do for inside exhibiting that even after what four weeks, he now knows that the team, the team not go feel play the football way he they want. Mm. And he, he talks say going forward that be in job, and to ensure say the defenders. Unlike in the past, if they make those mistakes, they're not going to concede. And you see the Kotoko has Kotoko game. Yeah. It was a defensive error that led to the penalty. Mm -hmm. Dwarf's defensive error led yeah. to the penalty. Yeah. Legon City is another defensive error. But this time around, the shape of the team was such that the defenders were closer. So if one player made an error, the other would close in. So there were four errors mm. around the edge of the penalty. So, <laughs> so, so, so two of them by Nuri Sule, two of them by Mohamed al Hassan, but generally them play well. But yeah. I was you then you then boy do where you go sit down analyze the game after. I know yeah, Abizam. We go the post match, uh, Abizam. Yeah, but the, <laughs> me my, now my main disappointment with Yaya Mohamed. Because mm. after all the talk, say you go score them. And especially with keep away, you know, catch post for like yeah. more than two years. Yeah. You know if he get even one shot on target. Like uh, he get yeah, get empty pool. Where you miss him? 
Anyway, so bottom line still, Heart of Oak, then win, then take all of them at three points. He moved them significantly up the table. I think we're three points behind. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then my head coach be Samuel Bozu. So we'll go jump to Samuel Bozu now. Then I'll come back then can ask Daniel Clanton some questions based on what Bozu did talk. So Bozu, after the match, then based on about in team, title, ambitions, and those things, he said, Charlie, make we forget. He, you know, they think about title. All he they think about is say he go win the next match. Take a look. Uh, tactically, thinking about working on their techniques and the tactics. When they are you come to use, when they when they are used to it, I believe that things will change and we play match after match. I'm not thinking about taking the league right now, but I'm planning how to win the next game. So we play match after match, and I believe that the moment you are winning all your matches, things will change in your in our position. It goes with us saying, be what you want to talk. <laughs> if then they win, things go change for that talk. Kratzen, legitimate question. How should folk them be title contenders? Look, we talk at the beginning of this season. Where it'd be like, more people than they follow the league get the same uh, impression. Op impression or opinion mm. about how this season they go. A lot of teams, this very similar level top. You the bar, where this Premier League season be about consistency. Yeah. If you go feel win like three games on the bounce, all of a sudden you find yourself in a title race. You lose two, draw one, all of a sudden you are mid table. <laughs> An extra two, you did relegation. Yeah. It'd be very close, we'd be very competitive. So in some of where did they talk? It'd be too early to talk, say, oh, we did title challenge top, or we go win. Yeah. Of course, you won't win. That'd be the end game. But the most important thing they say, you for watch your next game. Right. If you go feel get three wins on the bounce, four wins on the bounce, five. Yeah, you know, say so you be closer to the top. With that one there, of course, it improve your chances. More watch <laughs> Olympics. Say. If you watch yeah. Olympics, about uh, three or so four weeks before the, the first round end, then drop a couple of points. All yeah. of a sudden, then drop. Then Where people them. stop, they talk them a matter. All of a sudden, they finish their first round very well. Then they second. They win their first game of the second round. Yeah. They are top of the table. So the season there, they change. Continue change. Like a couple that. of weeks ago, we do show, we talk about Ash Goatsy, then they top of the table. Now they are mid table, so I far saw. away from the rest of the, 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 the rest of the chasing pack. So it be no, too they are mid table, but they are not that far away. They are not kids. that far, of course. Uh -huh. If they win a couple of games, they're easy to back, become. So back the way they did, they, uh, they understand how where um, some of they, uh, yeah. they talk about, especially. The way things they go out to hard to focus. This will be the third head coach this season. Things not you forget some level of stability before you go start to make pronunciations about Granted, it. Talk to me about Rasmatas. Why is it that <laughs> <laughs> Patrick Razak, sorry, that has a book fancy named Rasmatas. We need to have a column Rasmatas. <laughs> uh, at the beginning of the season under Odun he did play. Mm -hmm. As Papi Cham, he drop him. Boy do come the yeah. first game. Now he can he can't win penalty. What is it about him? Because he be like he supporters and coaches have get this love hate relationship for him. At some moments people say he he no get ball sense like he they play the ball or he head they down. You know the race he head. Is it? But what be in special? What he they bring to this thing? Where he they make? I, I, like I, he they come for me. See, Raza be then kind players we. It they depend on the coach. If the coach get patience. The coach go for you, Sam. If you watch Papic, even in choice of selection, you feel he say he they go with even with his speech. In speech, he, he they go it. with more yeah. intelligent players. He yeah. not for tell you some things. Yeah. He bab, he knows that get time spend that individual time plus you coach you through some things. He yeah. bab, but Raz, make no lie, Razak gets in qualities. Right, where it be very Which rare are? in pace the indirectness. Okay, he bab, then kind players. With a small, some small, small tweaking, you go feel help yourself. See, uh, uh, Imano Jinfi and Asiki Akono. Right. Kotoko. Yeah. Then he did force. Yeah. We all know, say, this smart. guy, he go feel run high, yeah. he go run high. If you know, tell us, he go yeah. run high, he go enter the crowd, he go <laughs> run high. <laughs> but Asiki Akono, if you say, then teach him some one or two things, yeah, yeah. where then he'd be very productive for the team inside. Akono left, run high, everybody they talk him matter again. The guy, he don't know about play. Then things, or you, you don't feel understand. Well, I know you talk say the blame Papich because in the talk, some coaches no get that time. Right. You know they bab right. why he for spend that amount uh, amount of time on you. Whereas and somebody else did it, he go feel using attributes. Yeah. But of course, this is somebody where it they fit into Boedu in plan. Well, if you watch, uh, I think the last four penalties has get to be Razaki the course. Yeah. Yeah. 
He entered the box inside. Very direct. He and the talk. We don't get plenty of players like that for the league inside. Even generally, if you come world football assistants, individualism they die off. Where he be one of them players where he they like take ball, yeah. go at defenders. Where then things, of course, you know, whether he gets M product, you know, get M product. Somebody will feel cut and penalty will pile. And of course, so it will be penalty. It will be penalty. See, he I mean, just ran into somebody. Well, no, penalty. no, but now he ah. be the defender. See, yeah, look, he just yeah. Yeah. Me, yeah, the Anybody more important be thing be about abstraction. Razak in progression, if you if you are allowed to call it that, post Papich has been that. The very thing that Papich talk away now, Razak, no one do. It be what he's ended up doing. Mm -hmm. So Papich talk me say, Razak, no go feed dribble. Razak no get the positional intelligence. Mm -hmm. Right. So in best assets be in pace and a little bit of trickery. So it won't make you play closer to go. Mm. So at the very least, that half space between the center backs, mm -hmm. somewhere around the edge of the area. So if you watch the times now Ide play, Papich they play Razak, that'd be where now Ide play. Admittedly, against and the Papich, a lot of teams normally start deep. Yeah. So the, there weren't a lot of spaces. Yes. Yeah. Yes. There weren't a lot of spaces for him to take on opponents in that area and then win penalties. What he had to do was then take up positions inside the box. And that will Razak, be ineffective. He will not mm -hmm. be comfortable. Mm -hmm. But as he left, if you watch the games under uh, the under 15 coach who can't take over, bef before Wood and yeah, even yeah, down yeah, to like those three matches. It'd be exactly those positions where Razak get impact for. So against Liberty, against Dwarfs, the two penalties all yeah. from the same area. Way against uh, Wafa to the first goal he scored, right from the six yard box. Even the, the very role that now Papich will make you play with, he said, he no get. So it be like sometimes, okay. just like uh, Grant Tintop, the players too for be a bit receptive to the things where coaches they talk. Of course. And then apply it more. Because if we do left, you don't want to come become another man, or Jamfi. Uh, mm -hmm. Exactly. Who, no do much for himself. No because be only effective under one and coach. Exactly. Because yeah. the right. coach is that they will come, then will go. Yeah. It be you, up to you, the player, then assess your game. Because look, Razak left Tamalu Tres like what, 2014. Yeah. In progression, no. It go like the way now we with the expect Tamalu. It be flat line. Yeah. They go same place. <laughs> <laughs> the, that's a folk fans. Make I hear from you. Uh, if you just say boy do be the guy he go feel winning the league title, I'm very interested because uh, as a folk, some boy do be one of the supposed best coaches in the league. Young, full of new ideas. This guy they stand here being biographer. He will tell you more about <laughs> some boy do and all his tactics. But so far, I think they look good because that's two on the bounce for him. Four nil, two nil, six. Six goals scored, zero conceded. So, Charlie, if they tell you something positive, as a focal, it's three points behind. It will not be any big deal like that. Because you win the league. All right, let's move on. Kotoko, uh, now then go, then go to Chima, Charlie. Yeah. <laughs> Iglesias, so it's possible like he gets something personal against Kotoko. <laughs> then go there, Gamma get in first goal of the season, in first goal of in Kotoko career. But still, in the end, the match end 1 1. Take a look. And he says he loves to see. Both Johnson Smith and Kazali both together around him. Gamma with a shot on target, and that is Gamma's first goal of the league season. What a goal. He took it on the unfavorable right foot. It took a time. He waited. He wanted the direction. There was no power, but of course, the direction was explicit. Fabio Gamma registers the first goal, and let's take a look at the replay once again. So, the ball will fall gingerly for Fabio Gamma. He just let the ball. He had his cool and composure. He sized up the goalpost, and that was the finish for the tackle. The owner kick is on. Wonders are still yet to get themselves back into the game. Rashid as well beats and sends in the cross. This should be a goal. This should be a goal. Goalkeeper. It's beating and look at the cross from Rashid, Taylor measured and Wachi will finish clinically with a head. To be fair, that be some very easy goal for Kotoko to concede. After the in his pre-match press conference, you see say then uh, the Kotoko coach, 
Sanu. Mariano Barreto, then he they watch from the net. He they, oh, Charlie, Ghana, <laughs> Ghana football. <laughs> we will go reach there one day. No, but to be fair, they give him place for the VIP. We say no. We in the assistant say they don't want to be closer to yeah. the pitch. So he they watch right. from the net yeah. like all of us. He they hold the net like this. So he they watch the thing. He they watch the thing. Charlie, <laughs> uh, pretty much today, what I call the play at three o'clock. Yeah. They play between United. Barreto say the attitude of some players in that game was disgusting. He said, everybody, they make mistakes. But he, he said, what football? Everybody, but if you make mistakes, you'll be the first person to try to correct the mistake. But he said, in the game, players, if you give the ball away, then, then they jump. He said, like, he did there. He been there. The bench. He said, some players, you go come out there after 20 minutes. Trouble. <laughs> but Barreto know that. He know no, they miss well, though. He you said, you come out there after you 20 minutes. You first set standard. You but it's good to see Gamma score. Well, of course, it's good yeah. to see. Yeah. He, he play ball. He play ball. Yeah. He gave nice here right now. He registered a name for the score sheet. But see, what Barreto they talk be true? Yeah. For some teams, you see, you cannot play for Asante Kotoko. That's his him. point. Yeah. You cannot. You know, be whether you shine for the whole Ghana, once you wear that jersey where you Thank play you. for Kotoko. He said, This is what, what the jersey do. demands. Yeah. Yeah. This is what our fans demand. That'll yeah. be the thing. You see, where it, it should be, for me, eh, honestly, it'd be very insulting for the players. Say manager from different country will come and is telling you the implications of the jersey you Oh, Charlie. You know they make sense. <laughs> so you did here. Me, you know, I'm going to bench you. I'm going to sack you from my team inside. <laughs> oh, that's what I'm going to do. Because you know they deserve this jersey. Play the players that must position there yeah. and are trapped with Barreto. Uh, people did yeah. there, then just won't play Kotoko. Then you, you get a chance. You they play a game like this. You go give ball away. Then you they ask him, make somebody can cover you. Shock. Meanwhile, you they stand there, you be closer to action. There's, they're going to concede. They're, they're, the... they're going... Why you go concede so, something like so? You yeah. know what it begs me about that goal? Initially, where the uh, oh, no. 11... No, the 11 won this guy get the ball before he cross him. Okay. Where Gamma, they approach him. Uh -huh. Before Gamma, they approach him. Another... I don't see the player, but another uh, Kotoko player did Gamma in back. We all know say Gamma. You see, that be another thing about football. You have to understand your teammates. Right. Know your teammates. Know their strengths. Know their weaknesses. You know say Gamma... Tackling no being 40. Yeah. So you for double up. The guy they got my back, then train gamma, he they walk go. You go see the goal. He they walk go. He they walk go. He they walk go. He, he, he you, know, it, you, know, it, you know they care. It really has to change. And you see, he has a see, point. See, you watch. Now, two players. As about go out. Two players, they follow the guy. Watch you. Don't be gamma, they close him down. Uh -huh. See you, see. Then the guy, he ah, stop. See, he he, he, he stop. He stop. Where he left gamma? He did not be kata. He be kata. He strike. <laughs> he that. left Gamma. <laughs> that would be the other thing because the midfielder should be the ones doing this closing down. Yeah. But in the end, I mean, it would be really cheap goal to give away uh, there. Anyway, so that would be the, 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 the thing with the... Look at this. I mean, as the cross they come to, the three court, there are too many no, red shirts, too see, many white shirts. Somehow, the, it was a free header. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the quarter court games we watched this season, eh, easily, the my best player be the keeper. Abalora. Mm -hmm. True story. No, we, we, you're the guy that chances that... Barreto Messi, no? Yeah. He said if Abalora saved them in this game. Yeah. Even the first... I mean, the, the goal they concede with the red flag amass offside. Mm -hmm. Watch the attitude of the defenders. As they play the through ball, them all day there, then they, then they watch. We go, we go the, the Kotoko dreams, it be the same. I follow them good, Brekum. The Kotoko Chelsea game too. It be the like same. That was be Felix Sanan. It yeah. be, mm -hmm. be, the, 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 it be the same. Look, you you know go you go contest for championship and have your keeper as the best as your best player. You know they happen. It be it be the thing we talk about teams in teams who they try beat relegation. Mm -hmm. Why they need solid defense? Yeah, yeah. They face too many shots. Shots. Exactly. So if you get one draw, you move on. If you get Unbelievable. if you are lucky when and you get a three points, you move on. Look, it has to change. There are so many players in the Kotoko team where people they feel say then they play well, but they are not. The, one of the few consistent performances for the team where you go feel vouch for be Ibrahim Moro, mm -hmm. then the keeper. The rest, look, Abdul Ghani, you, in the game in moments, people know they see, people know they talk. You see Mubarak, the, the game against us, you see the chances they concede. Even for right. the midfielders when they, when they come. So if Kotoko could feel win the league or even contest for it, then for need some of their star players to step up. Look, watch all of the teams ahead of Kotoko, or the teams in the top six. You go figure three or four players, alpha players, who are among the best for the league inside. Go dreams. Yeah. Joseph Esso. Mm -hmm. you, go feel, you go get. Go Oli. You get. Awako. You go get. You get. Where, where Barreto make it very important. He said the goalkeeper be national goalkeeper. Yeah. 
He said that my defenders all be national team players. So you know, go feel be national team player. They play for Kotoko. Then they, they do in that, this no. kind of nonsense defending. Be how he call it. He said it be disgusting. <laughs> that be the word they use. Uh, uh, but but me are excited for Barreto because the way he talk, they mean say go sack plenty players. Oh, but you see, eh, sometimes go sack plenty players. Sometimes eh. are true. Sometimes what? Hold up. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. We go show you one more game before we go for our break. This game it be Friday night match. There will be Olympics. Olympics the media. Everybody talks say that'll be the toughest game of the run, and rightly so because both teams be really good teams. In the end, well, all three points. I'm not Walker. Take a look. Of the band and the finish as well. You know, Bookie Pabuatin couldn't really set himself up at a time where the strike was being taken and right through his legs into the back of the net. Brilliant stuff for Olympics. What has been a very, very compelling and competitive fixture. Great Olympics up by 1 0. And I their new coach, Virich. That's a good try from Joshua Rue. Good save, Boatin. And it falls to Mudasiru, goes to the left. So that was good defending. Ejeni wants it to Prince Opoku Ajiman. He finds Ahmed Toure. Here is Toure! Straight to Ben Asari. You know, shake his man off. Yeah. I'm a Simba Toure. Yeah. Stop. I'll go swear. Great Olympics now, top of the league. I think I'll show you what the league table they look like. And in fact, the four results, first of all, of the uh, week 18 of the Ghana Premier League. So there you see, Karela United, then drop points, uh, which is why Olympics are top now, uh, very shortly. 11 wonders to the draw against Kotoko, you see it there. <coughs> beat Ebisua Dwarfs. So Odate Lamte, in his second, he beat them 1 0. So something <laughs> <a> powerful team. <laughs> Powerful you, defeat. You like them go go. <laughs> <laughs> Powerful defeat. And Koyo, dreams too. They the entire now they share the same venue. So to me draw I'm a two V. It will be one one. <laughs> because entire move there. The table, if you want the Olympics, top. 33 points, 32 points, Carella, House of Four, 30 points, 28, 27, 27, 27. So it be as Daniel talk, it be very, very tight indeed. But Guys, one of the biggest talking points this week. Eh? But say your fault go take Lagos City's goal. They go lose 2 1 to Brecum Chelsea. After the match, Bash ball. Like he ball, giddy, giddy, giddy. Because he said they're threatening to beat the referee like the woman of referee. Take a look. My worry, my worry is that the, the officials were threatened. And so the referees were, were, were intimidated. They were in life. What, uh, so he was scared. And look at the last goal that he did. You see, this as well. So, so Lagos City felt threatened. Yes. I see. My worry, my worry is that the, the officials were threatened. They were insulted, threatened that they would beat them, as had happened in the one month, one month so four or something, something. And so the referees were 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 were. were I think they were intimidated. They were intimidated. Now they are the are the tunnel. They told them that if even one of them chased them into the this thing, I was annoyed even chasing him into the room. Tell him if they should, they should, they should, they should lose, they will beat him like the one Manafu or something, something. Yeah. And so that one Manafu, the referee doesn't want to also he be beaten like what? Uh, so he was scared. And yeah. look at what happened. Now what happened to everybody saw it. Sure. People have been calling. They saw it live. Sure. Everybody was looking. What happened to that last goal that he did? You see, these are some of the things that happen in Ghana football. If you were a coach, you really don't know whether you are going forward or you are going back. Mm. You prepare your team and you come forward and the referee robs you. And then they tell you they will beat you like one Manafu. They will beat you like Roman as before. So, so Lagos City felt threatened. Yes. This game. Yes. I see. Yes. Beat you like Roman as before. And so what? <laughs> and so what? <laughs> and so what? We're going to take some short break. When we come here, we're going to digest all of Bash's comments. Then we're going to zoom into Ghanaian players in the top five leagues. Where have we gone wrong? That'll be the question we ask. Don't go anywhere. My worry is that the, the officials were threatened. They were insulted, threatened that they would beat them, 
as had happened in the one month, one month so four or something, something. And so the referees were, 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 were I think they were intimidated. They were intimidated. Now they at the at the tunnel. They told them that if even one of them chased them into the, the this thing, I was annoyed even chasing him into the room, telling him if they should, should, should they should lose, they will beat him like the one man or four something something. Yeah. And so that one man four, the referee doesn't want to also he be beaten like scared. what. Uh, so he was scared. Yeah. And look at what happened. Now what happened to everybody saw it. Sure. People have been calling. They saw it live. Sure. Everybody was looking. What happened to that last goal that he didn't take? You see, these are some of the things that happen in Ghana football. If you were a coach, you really don't know whether you are going forward or you are going back. Mm. You prepare your team and you come forward and the referee robs you. And then they tell you they will beat you like Oman Asofo. They will beat you like Oman Asofo. So, so, so Lagos City felt threatened yes, in this game? Yes, yes. I see. Welcome back. <laughs> this is the football made in Ghana. <laughs> uh, coach Bashibo. It's the officiating. <laughs> Hibo, you say, uh, that's what the referees they do. If he be coach, you don't know if he they go forward or if they come back. So, the referees, please, don't, eh, we beg you, don't do this to Bash. Eh? It's Bash. Uh, that no, what be the, he said what? He said referees can render you what? Wifeless. <laughs> they can render you <laughs> hypertensive. <laughs> so, <laughs> Bash, <laughs> Bash get a point. Wait, see, me, I don't go. You know, the referees, they're my fault. Yeah. You see, if the league is so poorly organized, say fans at halftime will feel get direct access to the referee. That one, even matter the of issue. life and death, too. I ah, mean, if I be center referee, where are the entertainer? What you tell me, say, if the home team go beat me like one man last four? You think, say, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. know. I'm going to try and make them, of that's course, that's because the I didn't see it. I know, say, where the two weeks ago, I see them beat my colleague. <laughs> Philly, Philly. And you see, the referee too knows say it be possible. Yeah. It be possible. So he Direct doesn't feel access. safe. Yeah. Then they feel talk to him. Say hey, you if you go, make sure say we win. Or I will beat you like one man right. so forth. Eh? So you know say this one day. Charlie, these things we for so set we. up. We for right. set up. Then for start they jail them people. It not be it bad. Be anyway. For start they jail them. Eh. Um. So that be the thing. So that be the lowdown on the Ghana Premier League. Let me show you the fixtures. What to look forward to this weekend before we move on uh, to some other topic. There you see. So this weekend. What be the standard fixtures? Kotoko against Brickroom Charles. Every time this fixture <laughs> always be dramatic. Charlie. Like Charlie. every time. So one time they beat them 3-0. They take Amor Kart and carry the Kotoko players. Come on. <laughs> David, David, that can't he be head coach. Hey. I, don't go, I don't go forget this one. <laughs> hey, Brickroom Charles and Kotoko. Hey, brother. Even the first round, drama happy. You know what yeah. happened? Yeah. <laughs> the one yeah. they scored the yeah. last yeah. minute. Yeah. 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 Charlie, this fixture always. But as go versus hard to focus well. That'd be another it's game to look forward to. As good as my form, not really good, but uh, it still be massive, massive game of football. Media at home, Dreams FC. It'd be another game for look forward to. Liberty Professional, if they cannot get three points <laughs> against Elmina <laughs> Sharks, it'll be crisis. Eh? Well, they're already, oh, they're crisis. already in crisis. <laughs> but if they don't get win against Elmina Sharks, then Ayaka. Crisis Pro Max. <laughs> <laughs> Crisis Pro Max. <laughs> that be the thing. But I know say it be Legon City is my first match after Woman and so far. Yes. <laughs> but in the face, the league leader. It be local derby. Local derby. Don't be small game <laughs> against Olympics. So that be the fixtures. Uh, I don't know if you want to comment on any of those matches. Actually, friends, the something they worry me. What they worry? The decisions say we no go allow fans to make them count to them, Charlie. At a point. You say you've been ranting on this match. Yeah, what be your issue? We foresee inside game the clubs. See, the clubs be businesses. I know they believe, say, if it had been any other sector, where the main revenue stream has been cut off for 13 months, like, at least, some concessions will be made. Nobody they talk, say, COVID protocols, no, they here. But it defies logic. If you allow people, maybe they sit for taxi, Trotsky inside, full capacity. But if we still stadium... The, excuse me, we still the good DSTV center. Yes. Nana. Oh, Nana. With face mask. Oh, Nana. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it's the same thing I have here at the stadium is what he yeah, said. Yeah, would so. they allow people... Now, you see... Because, what, because what the DSTV breaking... center and the stadium, difference no day. No, difference no The shouting level will be the same. Now it's going be smaller. Yeah. What be heartbreaking... So be exactly. What be heartbreaking about what happened this weekend, be say, the ministry was fully aware. Say, clubs have been asked by the FA to train... Stewards. In fact, as they do them, um, then they post pictures, then they put them for mm -hmm. social media. Mm -hmm. The FA they talk about them, the class they talk about them. We keep quiet, then do all of this finish. Less than 24 hours before the games, who we can talk, see, make them no admit fans. Mm. Look, what's Teshiman 11 wonders do over the weekend? You know, be said in the crazy. 
they know pass it and go ban them. But they are at saturation points. They are so then they suffocate. Because look, the main source of revenue be through the gate. They don't make money for in more than a year. How do they pay players? They don't they pay. How do they pay players? How do they, they pay? pay. Uh -huh. The question no be rhetorical. <laughs> and the answer. <laughs> so look, they get things with them for so that be why me, as a, as a city, if anybody give me feel like, even if it be verifiable, say the clubs no fulfill any obligation about any obligation to any player or any of anybody that they engage to, I no go feel around that story. My conscience no go permit me. Because I know the situation then they inside. Mm -hmm. So look, I feel say we we should not journalists enough. go do stories, say clubs no pay players for the past five no. years. Don't be the clubs. You go, you go change the line. You exactly. go change the... the, the exactly. The, it, well, they die financial uh, uh, situation. Right now, the money that they take to survive, they are own money that they pay to the GFA and to the FA. So whatever they come from FIFA and the GFAB, essentially money that they've already paid in the past, where they get? Where, to make matters worse, what the ministry promised them, say they will get. They don't get them. They don't get, them. They don't get that one too. Interesting. Really interesting. Anyway, uh, guys... What be the best penalty taking technique in the whole world? Oh nana. Is it? Oh nana. Oh, nana. <laughs> is it Dink? Or is it Mario Balletelli? You know the go by here mm -hmm. then. Yes, thank you. Mm -hmm. Or is it CR7? Or is it Edin Hazard? Joginho. Or, or is it is it Joginho? <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Is it Jorginho or is it Justice Blake? <laughs> <laughs> Blake has some technique, eh? You <laughs> <laughs> forget Blake. Blake won't do Jorginho first or wait his ball. We're not just saying it. Oh, oh Rita, you know, if you find the, jog, the Justice Blake penalty, <laughs> Blake will do it again. <laughs> Justice Blake for the waffle. Oh, oh na na. Tarek, if you play that video, you don't go enter Kumasi again. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, ah. forget everybody. <laughs> and now we found somebody. His name is Victor Edu. Oh, no, this no. guy, the penalty is not playing it all. He's smashing it. Yeah. Take a look. Referee whistles. Edu steps forward. And he makes it 1 0 for Atsabok. No questions about that delivery. Spot on, accurate, and powerful. Has one dwarf nil. He wasn't messing around with this one, Victor Edu. More importantly, to an angle where even if the goalkeeper gets right, he wasn't going to reach it. Moving into the side of the net. Yeah, into that one. The goalkeeper is not going to reach it. But the pace in the strike, very emphatic. Confident run up as well and just giving. Is he going to go for power again? He steps forward. Aidy. Again. He smashes it. And after the ball. A 2 0 lap. Yeah. It's a common copy of the first. And I don't think he should repeat the trick for the second. Yes, he did repeat the trick. And he still come up with the same results. Going in the back of the net for Hart to put second. Ball from the spot. A 2 0 lap. He already has scored six goals. Can he make it seven in the Premier League? Edu! He's blasted it in, and the Fabians are one nil up on Resurrection Sunday. No messing around. Yeah, no messing around. But I think sends the goalkeeper the wrong way. Very emphatic, very powerful, very confident strike. Take to Edu once again from the spot. I just fear give the goalkeepers. Charlie. Like, see, me, 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 <coughs> throw my goalkeeper. See, no. see <laughs> growing up, and then they tell we say, we, we know can't see players. We know see who are forcing foam. In, in power, we tear the net. Tear net. When I own this. We see so many. See, <laughs> if, if see you so do so not fit tear net alone, what net do you do? Net no go Would they like him like that? <laughs> no. <laughs> if you don't tear one, net, net no go tear again. Charlie, the second one, <laughs> the net, it did ta with the team come out. <laughs> <laughs> the net tear no line. Like, you can hear the sound of the ball, though. Charlie, <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the guy ahead. Be, but we are, somebody said we they count down till we go fetch the ball from Independence Square. 
No, but that day they come. They no go have it, Charlie. <laughs> Charlie. The That's elevation in the gift of God. Bim. Anyway, so, I don't know why. I, as, it be like, Bim Nation, they were representative for the football industry. Be that yeah. Charlie, don't be easy. If you go behind the ball. <laughs> Bim. <laughs> Victoria, I don't know what you they make of Victoria Dim penalty star, but Charlie, that be, that be, that be some, some, some crazy stuff. Yeah, I like it. I love it. Pick a spot, hit it hard. You're not going to miss. Anyway, we could switch it up a little bit. Uh, Ghanaian players in Europe's top five leagues. The reason this conversation, they come up, you see, the people say, right now, when the players know they're the top level again, so we come out for them. If they call players from fourth division, what do you want to own? Here's one I want. Here, so as it stands <laughs> now, uh, the Ghanaian players where they did the top five leagues, they'll be 19 players. The 19 players, them, this. if you go to Spain, there'll be four of them. Out of the four, only one they play. Only one, Joseph Edu, he the play. The rest of them, Sabit Abdullah, in fact, he made his debut last weekend. He played six minutes the whole season. Fobi no see first team before. Akuku no see first team before. This is what I suggest. If we go to Germany, we get one player. One player. One player in the German Bundesliga. The whole Ghana. Before, before. Football made in Germany. If you guys say, that'd be where all Ghana players did. If we go to Italy, before. Then we get plenty players for Italy. Plenty for Italy. Right now, we get four players. The four players have Edwin Jesse score four goals. He'll be the highest. Afrenanka too, they play. Koja Samoa, you know, they get some play like that. But he did some team where the team, they fight relegation. Cagliari. Ankara, into same. Play like what? Two games? Or what did they do? One. One. One game so far this season. Moku, move on. on. England be where hope they. Jordan are you the play, Schlop the play, Pate the play, Amate the play, Salisu the play, but Chasam, he <laughs> don't play, he, he they enjoy Chasam. But even those who they play, when a top striker this season, Jordan are you score one goal. From last season being Palace's top scorer to one goal more than halfway into the season. In fact, the season they left eight matches in England. We could close the season. He left, he left, he left, he left, Man City cried, they left them at seven games. But he scored one goal the whole season. If we go to France, John Boy and Jiku, Pen and the guests of play plant. The Warriors too, they, they, they do small, small. But I hear it. Boy, sorry. Into the, so that'd be there. That'd be, this be one of the picture. We say we want players, we for co players, whether they play in top leagues. These are your players. Oh. This be your players you get whether they play top leagues. So that idea say we for co players from top leagues, you no? Know, is it overrated? Make we start think about the players and all the other divisions. Well, when we go back in history, they show you the standard and the number of players where he did the top five list in Europe in the past where we take goal competitions. Then see whether Ghana we get history of taking plenty of players from top five leagues in Europe. And this all be squad of 23 players. So out of the squad of 23 players, how many of them from England, France, Germany, Spain, Italy? All right? We could take a look at this. All right, so okay. here. Uh, uh, so 206 World Cup, all right? 206 World Cup. Only seven of one of 23 players were playing in Europe's top five leagues. If we count AFCON 2008, which we hosted, 10 players from there were playing in Europe's top five leagues. If we count 2010 AFCON, 2010 AFCON for Egypt, eight players. 2010 World Cup, where we go catch the quarterfinals. 13, that'd be the highest. 2012 AFCON, 12. 2013 AFCON, 7. 2014 World Cup, 11. 2015 AFCON, 7. 2017 AFCON, 8 players. 2019 AFCON, 8 players. The highest number, arguably, be... The greatest year of Ghana <laughs> football, if you like, arguably. <laughs> Guys, what are the, it, it, they look like the average number be eight. Mm -hmm. Like, if you strike the average of these numbers, it will yeah. be either eight or nine. If you add all of them, you divide by the number of tournaments, the average will be nine. So, Daniel, make I begin with you. What is this telling us? Is it a case that we have never been a country? Whose top players have been from Europe's top five list? Or is it just that we have come to accept mediocrity? No, you see, if you watch this list, 
the most be what 13. The best tournament or the best performance of the Black Stars in modern times. Yeah. We could talk from like 2000 till now. Mm -hmm. The 2010 World Cup. But if you watch those 13 players, unlike the list we show you where players, they the top teams, but they know they play. These 13 players were featuring almost week in, week out. They be key players. Mm. You see, where football know they lie. If you watch the way the talent spread across the world right now, if you go almost every national team, that was something that interests me about the last Euros. Mm. You watch the <coughs> last Euros inside, you go talk, say, oh, Poland versus something. You go think, say, oh, it'll be some small game. But you go check the lineup. You go see, say, ah, one, two, three, four, five players. We know them. They be household names for football inside. You check this team too. They be household names. Quality, no, they lie. Mm. Well, if you get quality for your team inside, you go show for your national team inside. And that was the case in 2010. Right now, of course, if you want the 2019 Afghan squad safe, just eight players. But then out of those eight players, how, how many, many of them? That'd be good. That'd question. be the question. How many of them they play? Where did they show? You see, here yeah, they talk say, you, you can't cheat nature. You go tournaments where you they face another country, where they get out of them are starting 11, then get <coughs> five players where then they play the top leagues week in, week out. Then be household names for them are league inside. Where you they sit there, you say you get 13 players for your squad inside, you get eight players for where out of those eight, only three they play. You go show, of course, they will beat you because the quality is there. You debab. Where right now, the fact of the, for the matter be say, if we accept, say, when a players in terms of quality, when a players no day up there again. Right. Do you know that Nigeria's second striker, Sime, uh, two uh, two or something like that? Two crazy. Uh, Sime, the guy they uh, uh, what do you call him? A uh, Crotone. Yeah. He scored 15 Serie A goals this season. Unbelievable. 15. And yeah. he's their second striker. You know they start too. If you want see many, they start. Where if he is sit bench, bench. Yeah. was sitting on the bench. Bench. Right now, he had scored nine goals in seven games. Yeah. He come back where you compete. Back. So they have three strikers. Osimen, who is a starting striker for yeah. Napoli. He had Nacho, who is the most informed striker in the Premier League. And Sime, who has 15 goals yeah. in the Serie A this season. Where then they struggle for one position, the number nine spot for Nigeria. Who do we have? You have, have where it is so who has one goal it is so more than 20 games. You can't lie to us. Yeah. It is show if you go tournaments, it is show Nigeria got beaten by the best team in Africa. Where we not say if they had not faced Algeria, they would have made that final. It be fact. Where Algeria safe, Algeria's most difficult game in that Afghan tournament was a semi-final against Nigeria. You have quality day. Where the countries where they get quality, they then they finish in the final. Senegal, you know, go lie. Look at the, the last, last Afcon. Yeah. Make, make I just make this last point. See this last Afcon qualified round of matches. Yes. You see Audrey and squad. Yeah. The master players all know they. But the team where they select, if you check the, the teams where the boys they play for, still are they the top teams inside. We play. See, see not the, just yeah, play. We see the kind of quality they show. That was their second team. Oh. When they take face Zambia, they my first team. Where you be back and forth. In, where you also for consider attitude, they had already qualified. Right. So first of all, they don't care. Second of all, this be them a second team, but they are competing at a high level against Zambia's first team. Where then they play? Where this be team where they go fit they go ask one. Algeria first team, Algeria team B. Where Algeria team B to go to the semi final? Of course. Because no, I don't go lie. We don't get them. Daniel is not lying. No, the, and the center at the pick from what Daniel they talk be say that they produce more. <laughs> How will we produce more? So then they produce more, the options they. So they, and you see, if you. Algeria know they produce more. It be France they produce more. No, no. This matter, no, no, seriously. No. This matter, a lot of people go Algeria be outlier. Oh, because yeah. friends, it be mm. true. All of them were born and be, raised in France. It be true. But Algeria <laughs> be Morocco outlier. Morocco too, they say. Friends, it be true. But Algeria be outlier. If we bring it down here to the neighboring countries, Tell me how many of them are core players were produced outside. Mm -hmm. Check. And you see, make I'm people sorry. take them a mind go they're under 20, they're under 17 tournaments see, of the last five see. years. Yeah. Check the Nigerian teams. Check the Malian teams. And check the players who have progressed from them up till now. If you check, look, the 15 players that you mentioned, not a single one of them is a product of the Ghana Premier League or the Ghanaian football ecosystem. It'd be true. You mean the it 19 we have now in the top The 15 we have now, yeah, yeah. The 19. 19. Mm. If they tell you, say, something be fundamentally wrong, because look... I mean, Kasim from media myself. You know, go feel always words, make somebody, somebody spring out of maybe Colchester or somewhere, where you have no ah, idea... Ah, Colchester, they, yes. Colchester. Make them, make them, make them, make somebody... Look, the reality be said... Just your Colchester no be talent hub. <laughs> <laughs> 
the reality be say, find your own conveyor belt, mm -hmm. feed it, yeah. produce players with then for no be world class, mm -hmm. but then just forget something that works for you. Yeah. Look, how many of the Nigerian talents will they talk about be world class? But when they come the youth tournaments, when they come the Afcon, the performance that they put up these days, it be better than what we get. Mm -hmm. So for us, for me, the main issue be say we for watch the players we they produce domestically. Because look, and that be why I'm never comfortable with this whole diaspora right. technical committee. Yeah. You see, and, and I true that like, like, why we really get plenty to talk about this matter, but for rapper, the only last thing I just could talk be say in the past we've made a great success out of taking players to under 70 and the 20 yeah. tournaments and then hoping and depending on those competitions for our players to progress. Yeah. Now, top teams know they sign from international competitions anymore. Mm -hmm. The talent for the ground. That'd be why Kudus, you know, go get team after he go play under 70 no. World Cup. That'd be why he go get team sick of the fundamentals he get. That'd be how we well think about our football. Take it back to the roots. Don't depend on that 70 and that 20 too long tournament. Now we don't go there because that's where the players will get chance. That's not how it works. This. People prepare to move that they can't This has <laughs> been our show, Football Made in Ghana, produced by Rita Mensa, directed by Olili. Thank you very much for joining us. Until next time, I beg, take care of yourself and bye bye. Chasing him into the room. Tell him if they should, 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 should lose, they will beat him like the woman are full, something, something. Yeah. And so that one Munafu, the referee doesn't want to also be beaten like scared. what. Uh, so he was scared. Mm -hmm. And look at what happened. Now, what happened to everybody saw it. Sure. People have been calling. They saw it live. Sure. Everybody was looking. What happened to that last goal that he didn't take? You see, these are some of the things that happen in Ghana football. If you were a coach, you really don't know whether you are going forward or you are going back. Mm -hmm. You prepare your team and you come forward and the referee robs you. And then they tell you they will beat you like all Munafu. They will beat you like all Munafu. Again to the first one, another goal! Oh.